What is going on everybody, welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only world battle with the reverse colonization idea. In the last video, Mapuche just peaced out with Brazil and they took the Brazilian city in Africa. Very sad for Brazil, the Mapuche now have a colony. I don't even know if they've made it to the new world or old world, whatever we want to call it. They, it seems like they did actually. But um, yeah, the Mapuche doing okay. Argentina may be making some progress. I have no idea if they are. It's very hard to tell against the Corral. The Shoshone now have three atomic bombs, as far as I can find. And uh, the Sioux have a massive army, but don't have much of a air force in comparison to the Shoshone. So it's getting interesting in terms of who's going to win. We're going to hit turn 450, probably, in this video, which is, again, usually the stopping point. We'll probably go to 500 in video form and then do the results at that point. That's that's normally, that seems fair. That will give both the Shoshone and Sue time to go on even to the even higher tech levels, of course, the nuclear missiles, etc., that sort of stuff. See how things go. The Shoshone have a settler out in the Pacific. I think they have some more heading towards Europe too. They obviously set up this big city in sort of northern France, Belgium. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe they don't have another one. Or did they have one going for Africa? Maybe. <laughs> no idea. Um, they had one somewhere, but it, it's it's I, I can't see it anymore. Uh, anymore? That Samoa is still doing okay. They took over. They got rid of Canada completely, so they now have a place in Africa, a city in Africa to operate from. Um, they did send a lot of their units here, but Samoa. They have an interest. Argentina now sending three settlers across the Atl South Atlantic to go get themselves a bit of Africa. And this is quite a bit of a force from Argentina. It's the biggest force anyone's got except for these two up in the north. Even though these two don't actually look... Okay, the Sioux have a lot of units. This is ridiculous. But um, the Shoshone don't have that many. It's just they've got advanced units. They don't really need to have as many. They have a lot of tanks compared to other people as well. Because um, they're unique unit upgraded to the land ships and then the tanks. So it's unusual to see an AI build as many tanks. But it's just due to their upgrade path from their unique unit that's gifted them a lot of tanks. So they must have a lot of oil. They must have a lot more resources than the Sioux. Because the Sioux have not really built many planes. Not the greatest navy either in terms of battleships in particular which take up oil. Although the Sioux now have the Middle East so whether that... That's probably bringing them a lot of oil. They've sent a lot of units over here now. And they're starting to build a navy in the Mediterranean. Where if there was a war to break out. As the United Nations forms. They would fight each other there. Uh, Canada are voting to... Uh, Canada are still in charge of the world's congress. With the most votes despite being dead. Um, that is some conspiracy theory level stuff there. But um, international games and world ideology autocracy. That will not help the Sioux. If we'll talk oh, there is a Shoshone settler in Europe. It's just making its way through through here between Pahokwi and St. John. Probably going to go up towards Germany, Poland, and add more of Europe to the Shoshone's control. And it's beginning to become a bit of an art. It's definitely an arms race between the Shoshone and the Sioux, and now a colonial race too. Started as an arms race. Argentina are a bit off, but, you know, they're starting to join in the race now. Um... This is going to be really big once they get these settlers over here. They've already got Madagascar and sort of parts of southern Morocco. So we'll see how it goes. But no one's really got a military... I, I say no one's got a military out here. No one's got a big enough force to make a difference out here. The Sioux have got a bit of a force out in the desert. Samoa have got quite a navy though. That's formidable. Um, Australia are just too far behind on tech level. And obviously New Zealand got pushed out of the Australian continent. They had Brisbane for a little while, but now the Kulin looking very strong. Even, oh, but they are too far behind. They've got artillery, though, so maybe they could bring it back a little bit. But Samoa are looking pretty solid with the Navy, looking very strong. And an Air Force, even a minuscule one. New Zealand, I don't know how they'll do. They've got their Anzacs, which may help them out if they were to come into a fight with the Kulin. Not sure if they would be able to beat Samoa, though. Still nothing going on. The Tlingit are still pretty happy. Everyone's just happy throwing units occasionally at the Chinook. No one settling in all of this land. It is it's unbelievable considering Africa 
Africa's filling up pretty quickly now. And once Argentina slapped down three more cities, that will fill up even quicker. Canada has remained the host of the World's Congress. No idea how, because, you know, they're not alive, but whatever. That is... I mean, it's, the, the longer they stay host, the more likely they are to stay host too. So that's going to be kind of weird, because now they've got six votes, and Argentina has five. So, so far, embargoes for cotton, pearl, no, banning of cotton and pearls and silk, and the Sioux and Shoshone both remain embargoed. Argentina yet to be embargoed. Yet they've not really been super aggressive, I mean... They haven't taken cities out for a long time. They've left Brazil here to do what they want to do. And I mean, they are they are in this sort of big war with the Corral, but it's not really not going anywhere. Just lots of deaths, both sides. Lovely, lovely story. Um, Shoshone, how, how did this happen? Also, the Samoa just became the fourth sieve to complete the Manhattan Project. So we'll see how interesting that, that's pretty big for them in Oceania. They can build if they can build an actual nuke soon. They'll be able to use that as they um. They'll be pretty safe from being attacked by anybody else. They've got a forty population city. That is huge. Obviously, we saw the Shoshone have starved their own people. Their capital even <laughs> lost through population at some point. But um, yeah, I don't know how this Brazilian privateer got in here. Take it they've got open borders. But um, one atomic bomb there. There's the other two. So three atomic bombs. Like I said, none for the Sioux just yet, even though they were the first to get the Manhattan Project. And also the Shoshone have a big air force of five bombers in Europe too. So here we go, the first two Argentinian settlers, or the actually the fourth and fifth Argentinian settler, I guess, have just landed in Southern Africa. There's one more still making its way over. Doesn't seem like there's any more coming just yet. It seems like that's going to be it for now. Surprised that Argentina haven't attacked this southern corral city. They could have probably took that a lot easier. Reformation belief for Confucian Confucianism, which isn't isn't the greatest of religions. It, South America has been a big religious mess, whereas in the north, Protestantism's pretty much dominated, other than Judaism for the most for the small part of Judaism. Protestantism's done pretty well, and obviously down here, I don't think there there is Buddhism, which is doing very well again. Out here, although Protestantism has reached uh, this big Samoan city, but everywhere else is Buddhism. It seems that Shoshone settlers heading towards something. I'm not sure what, but Shoshone have got probably the most influence on the entire world at the moment because see they've got Europe. They're probably going to have somewhere in Asia soon. They've got South America as well. They can obviously stick those atomic bombs in Machu here, and they could pretty much do anything they want to someone in South America. There is a big Mapuche force heading to Africa. Don't know exactly what that's going to do. Um, but it's kind of worrying. I mean, they're leaving themselves a bit exposed at home, but they seem friendly with Argentina for the moment. Maybe they feel a bit, they feel safe. The Buccaneers have got so many pirates here. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy. I'm going to zoom out because whenever I look at that region of the map, it just starts flickering. Whoa, let's not do that again. Does it do it anywhere else? No. Don't know what it is, but um don't know, maybe they'll attack Chile in a minute. That seems like it might be about to go down, but maybe not. Hmm. Sue, you gonna give us some surprises? No. Just building up a huge army. Who is winning right now anyway? We do uh, keeping keep in sort of good eye on it. Military member the Shoshone are now well over a hundred thousand more than the Sioux. The Sioux are about 20,000 more than Argentina. Samoa then are about half of the Argentinians army size. Argentina's score then is score let's no, there's military so there's the top three the Shoshone is that the Sh yeah, Shoshone this is, there we go let's light it up a little bit uh, Samoa down here in fourth. Who is that in fifth? Um, is that New Zealand? Yep New Zealand are the fifth biggest military <coughs> Sorry, awkward sneeze. Um, New Zealand, surprisingly, the fifth biggest military. And the Kulin in sixth. I mean, those three in Oceania doing pretty well. Chile in seventh, and the only other nation above 200,000 soldiers. Although a lot of them are pikemen and stuff like that. So not the greatest. And obviously very spread out. they got riflemen out here. 
Don't know what they've got down in Chile. Of course, they failed to kill Brazil, which was pretty embarrassing. Argentina with quite a big navy. That's kind of worrying for some of the nations around them. I'm sure the their contenders to win the game won't be too worried. I, I'm not sure who's going to win, because obviously I do it through the info addict victory. Score puts Argentina as the winner. I don't think they are. Um, I don't think they will, as things stand, if it keeps going. Unless they don't do something drastic. Let's see if they're going to settle anywhere. they got all three settlers now heading further east in Africa. That's that's good. Um, I bet they'll all miss Africa and go somewhere else altogether. That would be quite a surprise, but not impossible. No, set, no more settlers from New Zealand. Just a whole lot of their unique units. No wonder they are the fifth biggest military power in the world. Um, compared to the Kulin, who are sixth and doing okay for themselves. They're starting to get a bit more up here in Australia. But Samoa doing a good job up. The Sioux here, just keeping an eye on Samoa, I take it. Just making sure that um, Samoa's not doing anything they shouldn't be. Policing the world, as the big, big civs like to do. I hope we get a Sioux Shoshone war. It, it's got to happen. Also, the Shoshone did settle here, sort of south of where Berlin normally is. That's, I think that's about right. Poland would have been about here, maybe. So, yeah, this is Germany. Either way, more of Europe for the Shoshone. More land to farm and build units. And there's a big fleet off of Spain. Any more settlers? Doesn't seem like it, although Mapuche do have force going across doesn't seem like there's any more settlers though from anybody just showing you don't have any more settlers no um, any more settlers in the south no pretty empty is that Shoshone settler picked somewhere yet where did it go we've lost it oh no it's still it's just off of um, Southeast Asia Palmerston pretty big city here the New Zealand colonial region Surprised they haven't settled more. There's all of India, Afghanistan, so much land. I like how this Chinook workers, they've just decided to never go home. They've just gone to go live their lives as hermits in the desert. Now they come back. Come on, there's got to be... I want to see something. I want to see an exciting war in Oceania. I don't mind whose side it is or who's, whatever's going on. As long as we see a big war go down. I'd like to see Sioux versus Shoshone. I'd like to see Argentina do some more. Although they are starting slowly to make progress. Bear in mind they don't have any planes yet, Argentina. Um, Samoa do have planes, so that's kind of random, but I don't know why Argentina wouldn't build planes, unless they don't have oil, which again would be surprising, because they have some huge amounts of land um, for oil, and a huge amount of the sea, which you would expect would give them at least a bit of oil, and now they're starting to settle in Africa. I feel like it's only a matter of time before they do get whatever they need. If they do, I think they're going to bypass Africa altogether. Probably go for India. Unless they're going for East Africa. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I'm sure they'll settle at least one of them in South Africa. Surely. Surely they have to, don't they? Let's watch now. This one, they, they're probably breaking the game trying to settle all three at once. That might be why they're not settling. Because they're all so near to each other. Sure, sure that wouldn't happen. Well, the Shoshone and California's borders will slowly fill out all of Russia. Very slowly. The Shoshone will obviously push forward and help with that. The Sioux will come up from the south too, as will New Zealand and Samoa. So we may see it full if I played on to like turn 2000, but I, we won't be doing that anytime soon. Maybe if I left it on while I went on holiday, just to keep processing, we could do it, or while I'm on holiday, right now, as you watch this video, that's why comment replies may have been weird, or I haven't responded, especially with the Hearts of Iron series, where I've probably sucked, I know I sucked five five episodes of sucking, um, but it, it was a step, it means I have to play it more, which I know a lot of people wanted me to play it, I'm just showing you, I, that series showed you I suck, now you can believe me, and give me some more time. Um, Sitting Bull just entered the information era, which is very good for the Sioux. Are they leading for Tex? Probably. Yep, they are. 68. It's still a tie. These two are going to be impossible. The scores are going to be so interesting. The Sioux, 68. 
Shoshone 68, Argentina just behind 65, then it's Samoa 61, and then there's a long drop to Canada on 54, even though they don't have any cities anymore. Um, let's go back again to this. Kulin, then Brazil, New Zealand 53 each, Australia 52 again. Some sieves here that are barely, barely even alive, but Canada obviously have some units somewhere. No idea where. I haven't spotted... They're quite a distinctive red. I thought I would have noticed them. If they did have any units. Um, I don't see any. Any Canadians? Where where are they seeking refuge? That is the Shoshone now in Indonesia. That would be a good place to settle. If they wanted to control this region, they would get in the way of a lot of uh, movements of units as well. They'd be able to keep an eye on Samoa. Which I think is what they're trying to do. Argentina, this is a long... Oh no, it's only from Madagascar. I was going to say, that's a long cargo ship route if that's going to Argentina. It's it's not. The Sioux, no. No settlers. At the moment, the Sioux Middle East and Northeast Africa is doing okay. But how, how have you done this? <laughs> no idea how they've managed that, but um, they've done that somehow. Lots of workers for the Shoshone across Europe. Oh, the Britain is being divided up between the Sioux and Shoshone. Where's that Mapuche force going? Is it just going to reinforce their their colony? Or maybe attack Australia or something? That is potentially... Argentina's navy is on the move up north. Where is it going? Oh my goodness, the Sioux with the Great Firewall. They are they're on top of their cyber security in the Sioux empire and let's just see what everybody else is doing um the corral's turn are you gonna fail corral nope you're still holding strong you're still holding out those rgs i think that's um that's the term for them maybe people from argentina they probably don't like that let's let's not use that one again it's like aussies but different i mean i wouldn't want to be called a britty if that's if that's what we're calling it, or an American e. Yeah, let's let's not call them that again. They might get annoyed. But I'm not sure I have the hugest Argentinian viewer base. Although I speak a little bit of Spanish, but not not great amounts. So um, we'll see how that goes. There we go. The Shoshone did settle finally after all this time that they left Indonesia and that nice big island empty. It was the Shoshone who finally decided to go there and start influencing Oceania. Be, it would be amazing if Samoa just straight up declared war on them. Just said, nope, this ain't happening, and just took them out straight away. Because they wouldn't really be able to respond, the Shoshone. I mean, if you give them time, they will be able to, because they have a lot of money stored up, I believe. I think they have a massive treasury, if I'm not wrong. Um, nope, Argentina, the only nation, and Chinook. With above 1,000 gold, the Sioux and Shoshone starting to run out of money, I think, as... Yep, Shoshone minus 4 gold per turn, the Sioux minus 674 gold per turn. That is insane. <laughs> to sustain... I mean, I guess it's kind of worth it. To sustain... There's 15 sieves left, by the way. Um, to sustain this huge military. But Wow. That is ridiculous. Like the Shoshone are just making them, just making a bit of money. They're still reeling it in, but wow, the Sioux losing 600 gold per turn. Obviously, that um, being embargoed, really hurting them at the moment. Not so much the Sioux. It's now 2022. I missed 2017. My bad. As we approach turn 444, we're nearly there. 450 is close. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen at 450 except. You know, it'll be a cool milestone. But um, 500 is also going to be the end point for this series. It'll be a shorter series than usual. And we'll be going straight back in. Basically, this longer video slot is going to switch from being Civ 5 focused. Which it was meant... It's not really, because I had two Civ 5 series going. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, this slot is... No, I didn't. What am I on about? Yeah, this slot for the longer videos is going from Civ 5 focused to AI only focused. Solely AI battles, basically. Maybe that will add EU4 and Hearts of Iron 4 soon. Again, I like the unique ideas, but this isn't unique. It's recommended. 
But, um, you know, anything fairly unique, I do take recommendations because I'm not very creative. But um, I will try to think of my own as well. Yep, Argentina have left. They settled one of these islands. I reckon they'll be going over here towards Indonesia too. Maybe one in India, one in Indonesia, one in Africa. It doesn't even look like one's going to go to Africa. Looks like they're just going to keep going. Oh no, there we go. Two cities in Africa. They changed their mind. Two in Africa. Southeast Africa. Um, and I think this one will probably go to Indonesia. As it has been with the Shoshone. Or it will direct up north towards India. But who knows what the AI will do. They can, they can do some crazy things, the AI. Let's let's see. It won't be long between sup till some of these bigger sieves, I'm sure, like the Sioux, start pumping out settlers inside the colonies, not just anywhere else. They just like start building them here, Shoshone land. I'm surprised Australia haven't built any more settlers because you know this is their only city now. And as bigger sieves come next to them, we've got Samoa here, Argentina are now in their backyard, and the Sioux aren't that far away. They could easily take them out, so they'll need to build up Australia. They want to live through the next 55 turns. Argentina seems like it may finally, finally take a city down here. The southern Corral City. Uh, not the most southern, but one of the south of the main Corral City. The biggest city owned by the Corral. And if they can hold on to this, they can start putting units through. Probably a bit easier. Walk through the mountain pass. And the end of the Corral may finally begin. Knowing Argentina, they'll get this city in the red. Well, not knowing Argentina, but knowing Civ mod, Civ AIs, they'll probably get the city in the red and then peace out for nothing. Um, so we'll see at what happens. Is there any more settlers from Argentina? No. Nothing yet. The navy all went north, but it seems to be just a lot of submarines, which aren't the ideal unit. Um. Mapuche. Don't mention you too much, but you're still around. Same goes to the Buccaneers. There's only 15 sieves. It's kind of hard to comp make to not avoid somebody. We haven't said much about the Chinook today, but hello, Chinook. You still have musket men. You suck. Um, even though you probably could build a settler, and you probably could get it to the... Actually, you probably couldn't get it there. probably get killed on the way. The Sioux, fighters, bombers, but nothing. No nukes, which is kind of weird. Um, outbreak of disease, oh my god, an outbreak of AIDS has struck the Chinook. Just, just, this is unfair. The Chinook, I'm pretty sure they had another disease a little while ago. They had cholera, didn't they? And this game has been very harsh to the weakest Civ in the game. You'd have thought that being bordering with the Sioux and Shoshone, although there is a wall here to keep you out, Chinook, you would have thought that the Sioux and Shoshone would have provided some sort of medical help. I think it's time for the Sioux to put them out of their misery. The Shoshone probably wouldn't do it, but I'm sure the Sioux would sort of maybe steal some of that Chinook gold, that 1,000 Chinook gold, which would pay for two turns of sustaining the Sioux military. Uh, anything else going on over here? No, it doesn't look like it. It'll be an interesting region. In, if a war breaks out, we'll have the Sioux Middle East v Shoshone Europe, plus obviously Sioux England. Which will make things very interesting, and Brittany, for the Sioux. This will be an interesting region of the map. Obviously the main fighting will take place here. And I think the Sioux might might edge it, just about. I'm not sure, they've just got so many units. But obviously three atomic bombs isn't going to help them out if they get nuked. Wait, they have one. I swear they have one. There we go, the Sioux have built their first nuke. It's on a carrier in the Pacific. The Shoshones are up in the northeast of what was formerly Canadian land. Uh, Argentina, yep, this settler is heading. I presume it will have to head north. I don't know where else it would be going, but um, they've gone the long way around if they're trying to get to Hawaii, but I think they've gone the long way around either way. They probably would have been quicker to go to go west, although they would have had to go through with someone they're at war with. Five turns to that big vote on autocracy, which could make it even more favoured. It's already the favoured ideology, but it would become even more of the lead. Of the lead ideology. So colony-wise, who's got the most cities? Shoshone have got five. The Sioux have got 
four, six, eight. So the Sioux are winning. Argentina have got five, which is pretty impressive. The Shoshone actually have six, if you include Indonesia. New Zealand have three. And Samoa have one. Australia are obviously technically not colonial. Samoa now have one. Mapuche have one, surprisingly. Brasilia, sort of Mali. Mali region of the map, so that's that's good for them. Um, this is going to be an interesting flashpoint eventually when the Sioux, Shoshone, and Argentina all border each other in a similar region in Africa. This is probably what's going to trigger this world's version of a world war. I guess the fall of Canada was probably this this world's World War One. So, because we obviously had two of the northern sides fighting, and at the time I think Argentina may have been eating up Brazil. So, I guess, yeah, there's was a pretty big world war kind of thing. Argentina have now got a settler up. I don't know where that one would be heading. If they'd have pieced out with the corral, they probably could have avoided a lot of these problems. And probably actually, I don't know, it may not have been quicker. The Pacific is still pretty big compared to the Atlantic. And then crossing Africa only took maybe three turns. So, three or four turns. Yep, more Shoshone units showing up in Oceania. Ooh, a new war. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, this could be the fall of the corral. Chile helping out. It's going to be pretty big. And Mapuche too. This is pretty big. Mapuche as well with the Panama Canal. Could really make a difference. All these units in the east, in the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico. Going to come through. This is probably going to be the end of the corral. And Argentina may have put in, put in all this hard work for years. And we may just watch it collapse almost straight away in the hands of Chile. We'll see how it goes. Argentina seems to actually be falling back from the offensive at the moment, which is strange. But um, now is the best time to be attacking with everything you've got, Argentina. I'm going to be honest. This is your chance to actually take something if you're going to do it. Where is this Argentinian? Yep, it's going to go here. Settle next to the Shoshone. The colonial race is definitely on now then between the big three. Even though the Sioux seem to have slowed down a bit. With no more settlers from them. I mean, they can barely afford... They can't afford to be building settlers. They need to be building more units, obviously. It seems. Where'd that nuke go? Where did it go? Is it here? Yep, it's in Quatsamps. Right next to the Shoshone capital. That isn't threatening or anything. Obviously, the Sioux... Are, the Shoshone are keeping theirs hidden up here. Nice and safe. The Sioux are just like, yep, straight up. We're putting it next to your capital. Don't worry. They're just flying another one. Yep, they have two now. Or do they have more than that? Um, and, okay, so the Sioux are definitely building a wave of nukes. That's their second. They now have two. The nuclear war arms race has now begun. The Cold War has begun. Obviously, none have been dropped yet, so they won't know the horror it will cause. Shoshone still have the numbers. I think the Sioux should take out the Chinook. I'm going to be honest, Chinook. Just put them out of their misery. Get it down to 14 sieves left in the game. California as well. They should be put out. The Tlingit. When the Tlingit eventually catch up with a relatively good level of technology, they'll probably take San Diego and then start to settle this land. Eventually, I'm, I'm still surprised that some of the big sieves haven't settled even more. Like Samoa could have done a lot more. New Zealand could have had a lot more in Asia to compete a bit more because at the moment the fight for fifth is well on between New Zealand and the Kulin in particular. Samoa probably have fourth nailed on and could get even luckier if there's a big war between say the Sioux and the Shoshone. I expect the Samoans and Argentina would both get bulked up a place to so say second and third. Argentina I think are pretty much the safest sieve in the world right now. Okay Chile this huge Corral Navy that's not been touched by Argentina is now going up against the Chilean unique units. And they're doing pretty well. So that's good news for them. Ow. I've got this thing on my arm. Um, should be okay. But um, it's weird. <laughs> I think it's like burst. It's kind of gross. There's like a bit of weird skin there. Not sure exactly what it is, but it, it's just really sore. I don't know. It's like a scar or something. It's on the it's on like the other side of my arm, so I don't actually ever see it. But for some reason it's hurting. But we'll be fine. Chile fighting big naval battle and there we go. Argentina like to smile the most. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Um there we go. Next turn. One last turn for this video. It is turn four fifty. 
This Argentinian settler is now into the Atlantic. Brazil, another sieve that we could do with saying goodbye to. I think we will see goodbye to before it's over. Um, but yeah, that war is the first war we've seen declared in ages. There, there can't be that many wars going on in the world. Um, let's see. At war, there's Aztecs. Aztecs are dead. Um, the Mayans are dead. Uh, Shoshone's at war with Canada. That doesn't matter. Argentina's at war with the Corral. The war with the Corral. The Tlingit versus the Chinook. That's about it, really. Um, yep, the Aztecs and Mayans are dead. Tlingit, Mapuche versus Ching. Yeah, basically the only wars in the game are the Chinook and uh, the Corral War. And the few people they're at war with. Other than that, they're all at peace. The Mapuche at war with the Chinook and the Corral. Yeah, that's it. The only people at war. The Corral with Argentina, Chile, and the Mapuche. And then the Mapuche and Tlingit with the Chinook. That's it. Everyone else is at peace. It's very, very strange. New Zealand and the Shoshone now, friends. That is, that is interesting development down here in Oceania. We'll see how that plays out with where we've got 4th, 5th and 6th those things stands I think I mean obviously the score that we work out could prove different but that's how things seem to be heading for those of you this video is 2025 turn 451 thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one